the last tutorial, we covered how to bring in some individual clips and how to create a grading session. In this tutorial, I'll be covering the next item of our five different ways to conform material and that is of bringing in a baked or finished edit. The difficulty with this kind of project is any grading we apply to it will be applied globally to all of the scenes in the edit unless we split up the edit into its different cuts. Fortunately with Resolve, we have this really cool feature called the Scene Cut Detect that will automatically split up the different cuts for us. To get our shots into the Scene Cut Viewer, we must first get our edit into Resolve. In the Browse tab, we'll locate the folder that the finished edit is in and then in the Clip Details section, we'll right click on the finished edit and choose Scene Cut Detect. This will launch the Scene Cut Viewer. Now the way the Scene Cut Detector works is it goes through the edit and where there are changes in Luma or any other number of variables, Resolve detects this as a cut. So let's give this thing a go. So I'll click the Start Detection button, give it a few seconds to finish, and voila! It detects the probable cuts in the edit that we can see here in the graph as represented by the white vertical lines as well as over here in the Scene Details column. Now we need to do a little manual work of verifying the detections because it looks like it picked up some other detections that might not actually be cuts. We can step through the clips by clicking on the first clip in the Scene Details section and use the up down arrow keys to step through the possible scene detects as well as use the keyboard shortcuts P and N to step through where P stands for previous and N stands for next. Now what we're looking for here as we step through is to see the last frame of a clip in this left window here and the first and second frames of the next clip in the middle and right window. When we see this, we're looking at a clean scene detection and if it doesn't show up this way, then we have a scene cut detect where we shouldn't have one. Now if there are fades, cross dissolves and camera flashes, they may be picked up as a scene detection and so the easiest way to address this is to adjust the sensitivity of the scene cut detector by adjusting this horizontal bar either up or down. Lowering the bar increases the sensitivity while raising the bar lowers the sensitivity, kind of counterintuitive. But as you can see here, these lower spikes aren't actually scene changes but are changes in exposure or otherwise. So we can eliminate some of these by raising the green bar just above them. And if there are legitimate scene changes but are subtle, then we'll lower it. A time-saving feature you'll notice is that when we raise or lower the sensitivity bar, the scene detections are instantly updated, saving us the trouble of running the scene cut detector again. Now after we've weeded out unnecessary detections or added necessary detections with the sensitivity control, we can further fine tune the detections with these manual tools under scene marks. We can add a scene detect or a change was too subtle, delete a detection and even delete a whole bunch of unnecessary detections by setting an in point and an out point over a big group of detections and then delete them all by pruning. And a cool thing is that the pruning feature will delete all of the detections except for the most likely detection. Under the import and export list, we can save or load previous work. If we have an EDL to start with, we can load it or save one off to use later on other platforms. When we're finished, we'll click the split button and this will add the scene cuts to the media pool. Then in the conform tab, we'll create our master session by clicking the new button and then click the new button again to create a session with our splits. Now we have a session to grade. It's a good practice to go through the clips in the timeline to double check for any more errors we might have missed. If we don't have any errors from the scene cut detection, then we're ready to begin grading. The scene cut detector is a very powerful time-saving tool to perform splits to an edit when we don't have an EDL, an AAF, or an XML to conform with. In the next tutorial, I'll share with you how to make fixes to any errors that we might have missed when using the scene cut detection. As you can see here in the timeline, there are some errors that need addressing. <laughs>